race we anticipated greatly, but was diminished somewhat by the injury to Obadeli Thompson of UTEP. Until Tafoya has more on that story. Well, University of Texas El Paso coach Bob Kitchens put it mildly yesterday when he told me that he and his top sprinter, Odadeli Thompson, were disappointed by the fact that Thompson's success here at the NCAAs was stunted by an injury. Thompson would have challenged in both the 100 and 200 meter events had it not been for some of the most disheartening moments in this meet. Earlier in the season on his home track in El Paso, Thompson had the benefit of altitude and wind to run 100 meters in 9.69 seconds. That gave him the fastest 100 meter time in all conditions, surpassing legendary names like Carl Lewis and Leroy Burrell. But in the 100 meter semifinal, Thompson felt a twinge in his right groin muscle at about the 60 meter mark. He tightened his stride but finished with a win in 10.17. After crossing the line, Thompson pulled up, hushing the crowd and startling his coach and trainers. Thompson was due to run the 200-meter semis two hours later, and if he couldn't, he would be out of the meet entirely. What came next was over an hour of therapeutic massage, stretching, ice treatments, and nervous assessments. I don't think that uh, if there's a lot of pain, we won't run. If he feels, if he can get it warm and it feels all right and he's in control of it, then we'll probably run. If we're not, we probably won't. Thompson made the decision about 15 minutes before race time. He would run. After a strong start out of the blocks, it appeared as though Thompson could even win. He was relaxed through the turn, but about 20 meters into the straightaway, Thompson pulled up again, unable to finish. This time it was the left hamstring, which had been working overtime to compensate for the injured right groin. Thompson and his coach would have to make one more decision. With rest and more physical therapy, could he come back healthy enough to compete in today's 100-meter finals, risking further injury? Well, the hamstring tried tightening up on him now because of the groin. The groin came in the hamstring and all that, and so he just shut it down. He didn't know full hamstring, strained and dead. We're, we're through. We're not running anymore. It's me. Thank you. Now, the good news for Thompson is that he still plans to represent his home country of Barbados in the Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta. He will not partake in the Barbados Olympic trials as he continues to rehab.